It's Friday, everyone. What do we do on Fridays here at the Hint Hive? That's right, we smash the patriarchy. Hello, fellow queens, and welcome back to another empowering episode of The Hint Hive, amplifying women's voices. I'm your host, Kelly Hint, queen bee of this hive, and today we're covering a topic that I know resonates with so many of us, imposter syndrome. Now, before we jump in, I've got to give you a quick heads up. I am actually in New Orleans right now for a conference, so this episode is going to be short and sweet. Also, I want to give a quick shout out to all of my loyal listeners as well as my new ones. I am so excited to see that people from all over are joining the Hive. And thank you so much to the listeners who are emailing the show and connecting on social media. I absolutely love connecting with you and hearing your questions, feedback, topic ideas, and your personal stories. Now, one of our listeners came up with a really cool idea that I have decided to implement. Um, She was asking if there would be any way to set up a space for us to all connect. So I've gone ahead and set up a Facebook group. Um, It's called the Hint Hive Podcast. So for any of you wanting to connect with either myself or other listeners, have a safe space for all of us to chat about anything female, um, please search up the group and ask to join. It is a private group. Um, so what you say in there stays in there as long as you can trust strangers on the internet. All right. Now let's talk imposter syndrome. You know, that sneaky little devil that sits on our shoulder, whispering doubts into our ears, making us question our worth, our abilities, and whether we truly belong in the spaces that we occupy. Well, guess what, ladies? We are kicking that little monster to the curb today. Before we dive into our strategies for overcoming imposter syndrome, let's break it down for anyone who might be new to the concept. So imposter syndrome is that nagging feeling of self-doubt and inadequacy, um, despite evidence of our accomplishments and abilities. It's like standing in front of a mirror and only seeing your flaws instead of that badass boss babe staring back at you. But fear not, ladies of the hive, because today we are arming ourselves with a few tools to conquer imposter syndrome once and for all. So grab your metaphorical swords and shields because we are going into battle against that pesky little devil. Okay, strategy number one, own your achievements, ladies. As a matter of fact, I want you to take a moment right now to reflect on all of the amazing things that you have accomplished whether it's acing a presentation at work, mastering a new skill, or simply getting out of bed on a tough day. Celebrate those victories, big and small. Write them down. Shout them from the rooftops if you have to. You are a rock star, and it is about damn time that you acknowledge it. Okay, strategy number two. Embrace the power of fake it till you make it. Now, I know this might sound a bit counterintuitive, but sometimes a little teeny tiny bit of confidence can go such a long way. Channel your inner Beyonce, strut your stuff, exude that unshakable confidence, even if you're feeling a bit shaky on the inside. Remember, confidence is like a muscle. The more you flex it, the stronger it gets. And moving on to strategy number three, surround yourself with a tribe of fierce females who lift you up. You know the saying, birds of a feather flock together? Well, ladies, it is time to surround yourself with eagles. Seek out supportive friends, mentors, and role models who inspire you to reach new heights and remind you of your worth when you need it most. Because as always, together, We rise, my friends. And finally, strategy number four, give yourself permission to fail. That's right. I said it. Failure is not the enemy. It is actually a stepping stone on the path to greatness. 
So embrace those setbacks, learn from them, and keep pushing forward with resilience and determination. Because the only way to truly fail is to never try at all. And there you have it, my queens. Four foolproof strategies for conquering imposter syndrome and unleashing your full potential. So the next time that sneaky little devil tries to rain on your parade, just remember, you are fierce, you are fabulous, and you are absolutely, unequivocally, undeniably enough. All right, ladies, as we wrap this up, remember, the conversation does not need to end here. Connect with me on social media, email me, and share your own tips for overcoming imposter syndrome with your gal pals. Together, we can create a hive of empowerment and support for women everywhere. This is why I am so encouraged by the feedback that I've been getting from my listeners. I think that the idea to have a Facebook group was fabulous. So kudos, you know who you are. That was a brilliant idea um, because that can be a place. I mean, go there, talk about today's episode. Talk about how you have felt like an imposter. Have you, how you have felt your confidence shake and what you did to get past it. And if you're struggling to get past it, maybe it's time you reach out to me and we do some work together. I'm telling you, I have such an incredible passion for uplifting women and helping them transform into the magical, beautiful creatures that I know that they are. So ladies, won't you join me on this quest to empower women so that we are uplifted and our voices are finally heard in this world? If so, again, connect with me anywhere on social media reach out to me and connect with one another. Let's all take the time to be the change that we wish to see in this world. Until next time, ladies, keep slaying, keep shining, and never apologize for taking up space. Thank you so much, as always, for listening to this podcast, and I hope that you tune in next week where we will actually be covering a topic that a listener wrote in and requested. So stay tuned, and I will see you next week. This is your Queen Bee, Kelly Hint, signing off from the Hint Hive, amplifying women's voices. Now it is time for me to go whoop it up in New Orleans. Bye for now, queens. Mm-hmm.